think that no matter you know where you're from, how old you are, anyone is on the same and equal playing field when it comes to learning how to trade. Just taking the time and committing like yourself to learning, anyone can do this. Just know that like I got here on my own with no help, 100% just from the pure determination I had to succeed. And anyone watching this, you can do the same. And I 100% believe that. So, I no longer have the Audi R8. I actually bought this McLaren 570S. This is the Spider. It's my baby. And then I just picked up this G-Wagon Brabus. So, combined like almost a half a million dollars worth of cars right here. Uh, but I'm a car person. This is what I enjoy and do. Uh, we're gonna take the G-Wagon now. Actually, let's take the McLaren. I joined up moving from LA back to the east, back to your home. I had that LA dream. I wanted to move out there. I always, ever since I was young, I moved out, experienced that lifestyle, and kind of fulfilled that need. Uh, the biggest thing was family because I didn't know anyone out there, didn't have any friends, uh, and so it was lonely living by myself. And the second thing was just kind of the, the pace of LA, that fast-paced lifestyle. Like I never felt grounded, and, and when I'm here on the east coast, I feel grounded. So being back here, getting an office, which you'll see shortly, um, and then just having my own apartment, and now I have my roommate who actually works with me, we've got employees, it's just crazy how how much I've grown, how much the company has grown in the last year since since you talked to me, which is, it's really cool. It cool is a very, it's probably the most understated word I could use. How many employees do you think you have now? So now we've got, uh, between virtual assistants, uh, about 12 people. Um, I've got a full-time assistant, full-time videographer, an editor, the weekly traders, my buddy Jack, who now works with me on the marketing side, which is awesome to not just have myself be the face of kind of the company. We've got, you know, five, six sales guys, a couple more people on the back end, and uh, it's crazy, yeah. So last time you said that you're shooting for like $3,000 a day. What's your daily goal now, or has that like style changed? Yeah, so I no longer have like a daily goal, uh, and that's mainly because my, my trading style has changed and I've uh, become a swing trader full time. I'm not taking any positions on a daily basis. I'm, I'm holding positions over a couple of days, so it might be like a week or even every two weeks that I'm entering a trade. So I can't say like, oh, I'm trying to make 5,000 a day um, because I might make 20,000 on, on Monday and then nothing for the rest of the week. Let's see. Yeah. So how much do you think you're going to be able to make annually? Um, this year, between everything we have going on, I should be able to take in somewhere between 2.5 to $3 million. And is that just off of stocks or is that off your other investments and uh, businesses that's as well? Yeah, that's between everything I've got going on right now. Mainly trading in the, the mentorship group that I run. How's your year been so far trading? Uh, this year trading, uh, I'm up about 260, 270% uh, on the call outs inside my mentorship. Um, I, I still let students copy my exact trades. So, uh, and then that's like an 80%, something like that, 80, 90% win rate. So it's been a great year considering the market, especially, uh, which is, is very much in the red. So I'm definitely very blessed with the trading performance this year and my call outs. What are you most excited for this year? Um, right now, I'm really excited about the podcast that we just started, which has already gone viral all over TikTok, and and having the weekly traders bringing on this other this other guy to be the face of the company uh, alongside myself, and, and and growing in that way and scaling where it's not just reliant on me, having someone to talk to in the podcast to be in other YouTube videos, I'm very excited for that, and I know like this is just the tip of the iceberg. So you started out by just trading stocks, and now obviously you're a big figure in the trading community. How is it just mentoring so many students and changing people's lives like that? Uh, it's, it's crazy, and I got to speak with like a dozen uh, students who I've worked closely with, and, and hearing their stories, hearing how like I've actually legitimately been able to help people change their lives. One of the guys I talked to, he was able to cover uh, his mother's medical bills. It was like $30,000 that that he, he had made um, over the span of like six months 
with my help and and stories like that it's just so much validation and obviously like it's a great extra you know source of income charging students to join and but the transparency that I give is something that no one else does and and I needed people to be able to see that I was actually a profitable trader if I was ever going to sell any type of course or mentorship I know there's often a negative stereotype when it comes to like trading gurus but uh, being able to say like hey I'm buying this stock right now and hey I'm selling this stock right now and I'm either making money or I'm losing money that transparency that no one else offers is something that I really like pride myself on and then seeing the the work that I put into creating the master class and seeing how it has changed people's lives is just so validating. So what's a typical day in the life look like for you? Unlike in LA, I, I no longer have to wake up at 5 a.m., which is great. Uh, I wake up at 7.45, uh, I go downstairs, go to my home office, create my pre-market watch list, send that out to the mentorship group, have breakfast. I like taking it slow in the morning and I really value sleep. So uh, I, I tried the early morning workout thing, which I don't do anymore. And then what I'll do is I'll typically head to the office and I'll spend about three hours at the office, uh, whether that's you know creating content, working on the business, um, trading, take about three hours and then I'll go have lunch and then I give myself a good hour and a half to two hours in the middle of the day to work out uh, box I'm into boxing and um, just take some time to you know think back on the morning how the morning went whether I have a trade open or not two to four o'clock be back at the office I like being back for the last two hours of the day and then power hour if I'm entering a trade closing a trade whatever it is working with students and then typically I'll head home and then spend another five six hours uh, at my office at home working on whatever it may be but uh, I don't have a whole lot of balance and that's something that I'm working on I do have more balance now than I did in LA and that's partially due to the fact that now I have people to help me do different things like I'm not doing everything I'm still wearing multiple hats and, and that's how it is and and everyone who works for me is wearing multiple hats as well and so we're, we're very productive all together but I do have a little more balance which is great um, but something that I definitely need to work on and that's a typical day you know nothing crazy I, I, I enjoy going out driving my cars got the g-wagon got the McLaren and um, I play golf you know a couple days a week as well but hey I want to say this it sounds like I work all the time and I do but it's not work because if you really enjoy what you do if you love what you do then it's just like you're having fun time passes fast it's not like oh I gotta go to the office and work like I love going to the office I love working with the team with my students and being productive like this is what I enjoy and so yeah it's mainly all I do and I don't have much balance but who cares because I, I enjoy it and I'm doing well so nothing to complain about so who is it that works for you now so instead of like going and trying to outsource and find like you know employees online or whatever I went straight to my friends and I employed all my best friends which is really awesome and something that it, it's crazy to be able to do and and know that like shit like everything I'm doing like we're all doing it together we're all making money together and like I trust these people like to the end of the world and so we're all just as equally as passionate about it and that is the way to go like take the people in your life and and work together to create something amazing which is what we're doing right now uh, I don't like working with people that I don't that I don't know or I guess we'll get to that point but right now it's a really tight-knit close circle of, of good friends and you know people that I've known my whole life and we're all doing this together and at the end of the day, uh, what it does is it gives me the ability to be the visionary and focus on the bigger picture of the company, the greater picture and growing the company in different facets, starting the podcast, whatever it is that we're doing and focusing on my trading on the call outs at the end of the day, which is uh, what we are working so hard to promote to sell, uh, which is what is able to change people's lives. So it's like uh, everyone coming together to create this, this product that we're all really proud of and that, that we're all very committed to, to promoting. Like, I think I could say that everyone right now uh, who works for me is just as equally as invested in the company as I am and enjoys it just as much as I do. Like, I don't think any of us feel like, oh, we have to go to work. We have to go to the office. It's 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 a fun thing. And that, again, is because we all enjoy what we do. It's a great job. It's probably the dream job for everyone going to an office and trading and shooting content with your best friends. Like, I couldn't ask for anything else. Yeah, it's not work when you work with your best friends. Nope, not work. That's so true. Let's check on the team. Uh, my editor's here, and then uh, Jack, the weekly traders, is here. 
come in, come in. Welcome to the office. Now this is something I really wish I had last year and uh, we have now. Although it wouldn't have made sense because it would have just been me. But yeah, we got our editor editing who is currently blurry. But we can see, hey, get off your phone, mister. Say hi to the video. What's up, video? This is Jack. You've seen Jack if you've watched the other videos. We played golf the other week. We played a $10,000 game of golf. And uh, yeah, you, he won. But come over here. Obviously, that's his setup. Uh, but this is my setup. Uh, I've got six monitors, got my TV screens. Um, we've got the Wolf of Wall Street on in the background, of course. Just a joke. Last year's video, that was on in the background, so I thought that would be fun. And then obviously my charts, um, got the microphone when I work with students, and then the Discord. So that's a mentorship group, and then whatever, I'm trading. So right now I've got nothing open. So it is actually power hour. I'm gonna sit down and try to find a trade. If I can't find one, I can't, but uh, cue a little trading edit. Crazy. It's crazy to think how far I've come in the last year uh, since being in LA, since you filmed that video, and um, now being the youngest millionaire in Maine. I like that title. I'm, I'm really, I'm even more excited to see what happens in the next year. Uh, I, I guess every year we'll do one of these videos and check in, check in with my goals and, and see how far I've come, what cars I'm driving, where I'm living. So I guess until next year.